when I go to get my body scanned so it can tell me like exactly how much fat I have, how much muscle I have, so lean mass. I am that girl. I have turned into that girl that likes to read a good book. Let's fly away, just you and me. I need a little break from the city. It's been so long since we've been gone. I just came out of Merit Coffee. Girl, my hair, I am just like, I just, every mirror I go past, every LCD monitor, every camera, I'm just constantly looking at my freaking hair. But anyway, I just left out of Merit Coffee. Um, love this little place. I got my favorite, which is the matcha latte. Um, this has whole milk and then two pumps of vanilla. Normally I'd get one pump of vanilla, but I'm just feeling like ice spice. <laughs> I'm just feeling like I want just a little bit more. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of like mix this up so I can drink on this, sip on this while I go out. It's funny because I thought because it's like a dreary day today that a lot of people would not be out um i thought like you know especially i'm in deep ellum so i thought maybe um it'd be pretty like chill but it's not it's a lot of people out because i really want to go do some shopping and i thought oh today is second day of the new year most people are like on a, i'm not spending any money i just spent money for the holidays you know we just want to be home sort of i right now that's not the case but it's so good it's so smooth so i want to go to a few stores but i definitely like gotta go to ulta like Mm. I'm all I like my skincare stuff and then it's like 40 degrees out here so I should have probably got this warm because like my hands are like really really cold right now but mm, it'll be okay ah, yes so day two of the new year my goal was not to save money because clearly I'm about to go spend some money spend some money 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 oh that sucks I like just got out here good and like so in the mood to go shop, but it's raining. Like it's about to start raining. only one that like goes into Target and really searches through like the home decor and the kitchen finds because sis like I still have a long way to go in setting up my apartment but I've been getting pieces literally piece by piece because a I'm not in a rush and b my apartment is just coming together so gorgeous like and every time I come into Target or into any home decor store that specializes in like home decor and kitchen and gadgets and all of those things I just get caught up <laughs> I'm getting caught up none of this stuff that I'm picking up is stuff that I need I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you I don't need any of this stuff um but I am going to cook with you a little bit later so check out what I pick up from Target making pizza tonight and so I really needed like a pizza pan to cook it on that's part of like my new year new me sort of thing I'm trying to like eat at home and so far even though it's only day two I've been doing so good <laughs> I done cook both days but I'm trying to like get a legit pizza pan this is a, oh this is a piece of stone this is what I want right here. Okay, look at this, look at this. Okay, so this is what I want. This is a three-piece pizza stone set by Nordic Wear. Yeah, this is what I wanted right here. A pizza stone. 
includes the stone, the rack, and the pizza cutter. Because I picked up this one, which is only like $8. I don't know if I can show it to you. That's only like $9. This one is $17. But it's like, it's cute. And I don't have a pizza cutter. So I need a cutter. It doesn't match my other utensils because they're gold. But yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna get this one, I think. I guess Figment is Target's newest brand. Cause I'm, I don't remember coming here seeing this brand at all, but they have like a lot, like a whole collection. And they even have pots and pans. So, you know, I did get the Caraway, which I love, so I wouldn't change it, but it's just interesting to see all of these, like, I guess this new collection have a lot of stuff like this spatula is so nice uh, I don't even cook like that but I just love kitchen tools <laughs> I just like kitchen tools and kitchen gadgets like, I am just so proud of myself I started a reading journey last summer because you couldn't pay me to read and it wasn't because I know that sounds so bad and I'm a teacher but it wasn't because like I can't read obviously it's not because of that it was just because i just didn't have time to read i couldn't ever find myself sitting still long enough to get into a book in order to read it you know to completion now i get like so excited about getting a new freaking book Ugh, i've been missing out on reading all these years I mean, I read for context, I read for knowledge, I read for information, but reading for pleasure is just something I thought I would never really get into because I would rather watch TV. Nope, there's like nothing on TV that interests me as much as a good book now. I am that girl. I have turned into that girl that likes to read a good book, that likes to sit up on a Friday night. I thought I got off work with a glass of wine and then fall asleep and then wake up on Saturday morning and continue reading. Yeah, that's who I've become. My niece bought me both of these books here um, for Christmas, so I'm excited to start them, but I'm still working on a book. So I'm gonna wait to start those two when I finish the book I'm working on now. But so far in Target, I have this book here. This one was really good. I've read like, or I've read a lot of reviews about Frida McFadden, um, about this particular author here, which is why when I asked, my niece asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I was like, you can get me these two books because they are rated so highly on Amazon. But she also wrote this book here called The Coworker. And I really think I want this book. Like I still have now three novels to start and finish, but I think I want this book here. Cause this would really just be a splurge. It really, I really don't need this book. And this will be a quick read too. I could get through this like in a weekend. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm considering it. Verity, I actually really wanted this book. No one got this for me for Christmas, but I'll again, shout out to my niece because she got all the other books on my list that I asked for. So Colleen Hoover, I have books by her. Um, I don't see them over here because like a lot of books are obviously sold out but I do have another one of her books and I think uh, it was the first novel of the summer I read I am going to get this book how about that let me put it in the cart because I am going to get that book <laughs> to bring like all of my shopping bags so now I'm stuck with all of this plastic and I hate adding plastic to the environment I did get this here um, to put like my napkins on because I got tired of them just sitting there looking aimless looking crazy see it's stone it looks exactly like my backsplash I'm gonna keep it over here in this corner All right, sis, so let's cook dinner tonight. I am gonna be making a homemade pizza 
I'm really excited about it because I did pull this recipe and it involves like, of course, your pizza crust and Alfredo sauce or homemade Alfredo sauce, um, chicken, which you can use chicken breast. But for me to make this quick and easy, I'm going to use ground chicken that you'll see in a moment. And then for the veggies that I'm putting on the pizza, I'm going to use kale. I really like kale. Like, I'm a kale kind of girl. I really like it. Um, yeah, so I am just really interested in cooking this year. Once I moved to Texas, I found, especially like when I balance my checkbook, quote unquote, um, that I eat out a lot or I have eaten out a lot since I've been here. One thing that I love about this city is that it has like restaurants everywhere. There's a new one popping up everywhere. And then, of course, like Van and I have... Um, frequent different establishments, high end, low end, or should I say like upscale restaurants, and then like your mom and pop style restaurants. And we've had great dining experiences, but girl, like I am not going into this summer the same weight that I am right now. And I'm not disappointed in myself. Let me say that. I do want to preference this by saying if losing weight was based on how hard you are on yourself, Everybody who wants to lose weight would have lost it and then some, okay? Um, I welcome the size that I am, but I do recognize, okay, let me, let me qualify this. I do recognize that I need to change both for my health and because I know the personal benefits I've experienced from weight loss and from just being my most uh, from both weight loss and then from being at a healthy state. Um, it does do something just for your overall everyday run of the meal, just whatever. And I'm only speaking for myself. This is not like a hey, girl, what we doing? Lose some weight. This is not that. This is just strictly what Jen is trying to do because Jen wants to, again, be in the best place possible. And when I left Georgia, I left Georgia because I had new goals and I was on a different horizon and I was on a different level. And now that I'm here, the leveling up, the elevation does not stop. As a matter of fact, it gets more challenging because there, there are new and greater heights to reach. So I hope that makes sense to you. So as I'm cooking this meal, um, I'm not like overwhelming myself by trying to make a whole bunch of changes at one time. The first change I'm trying to make is just getting back into the habit of basic training, basic working out, and then also basic cooking, right? And as soon as that becomes a habit, which it doesn't take long, you know, for it to become a habit, then I can start to really narrow my focus down and start planning my meals in such a way where I'm hitting all of my targets, which I'll kind of touch on a little bit later in the vlog. But yeah, like cook with me, see what I'm eating tonight. Um, I won't say that it is the healthiest because it's not like salad and carrots and like boiled chicken, but it is healthy because I'm cooking it. Ooh, it's hot. And it has a whole lot less calorie and salt um, in it than it would be if I were to like, of course, I guess, pick it up from someplace that's slathered in like cheese and butter. <laughs> I think, yes. Okay. Okay, mm. so I had to fold it over. Uh oh, ooh. Mm. I crunch right now. Mm. So I had to fold it over, as you can kind of see. Um, I wanted to pick it up and bite it. Mmm. 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 It's a party as I'm sitting here watching Netflix right now called We Are What We Eat. <laughs> and they're talking about like meat and dairy and I'm like, oh my God, that's my dinner tonight. So we'll work on trying to look at veganism. So our amenities here have like all of these events. And so I want to make sure that I catch brunch this morning. I don't ever really come to them because I'm always like doing something on Saturday mornings. But, you know, they had brunch for us, so 
I definitely wanted to come in here and get some and partake. Yeah, let me see how this is hitting. It's French toast, um, pepper, bacon, eggs, fruit. They had some other stuff up there, but that's all I put on my plate. Yeah. So, I don't know, they're gonna have to change that playlist though. And they just had Unbreak um, My Heart. Is somebody going through a breakup? I'm really thinking that somebody is going through like a breakup because that music just not hitting. Like, is that Whitney? We need another DJ. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you know, this is one of my favorite stores, and right now they're having a sale. Um, but one thing you have to do is make sure you try on the pieces when they're having a sale because, like, you can't bring them back. All sales are final when they're having a sale, but it's like a really big deal. So, so far, I have this really cute skirt that I'm going to try on. Um, these just very basic khaki pants, you can just never have too many, and I don't think I have any in this shade of brown. And then these full leather pants here, and then these denim pants here. So let me try everything on and see what I'm like. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Alright, what's up? I just got in the car um, because I just finished working out and I stopped by Vitamin Shop because I wanted to pick up some different types of like proteins and stuff like that um, so I can stack my powders. I'm really working hard to get back to not just where I was. I really want to get back to that really healthy place that I was in, but I actually want to go take it a step farther, right? So I did make an appointment. I am going to take you guys with me um, when I go to get my body scan so it can tell me like exactly how much fat I have, how much muscle I have, so lean mass, you know, my bone density, like all of those sorts of things so that I can like plan foods, um, workouts, like um, supplements and things like that around what my body actually needs. And it's so amazing that I never even thought to do that considering you can actually have that done and know exactly what your body needs instead of just like buying a lot of things or doing a lot of things because it worked for somebody else you can know exactly what your body needs oh i hope that makes sense so anyway i just came out of vitamin shop and these are the things that i picked up in order to start doing my um powder stacking i did some research on it and Bay was very instrumental in this but just to show you what i picked up just now out of vitamin shop i got the raw or organic um protein plant-based protein and this is unflavored and it's 22 grams of protein per serving so i got that one um i got the vital proteins um collagen peptides this is 20 grams of collagen peptides per serving and of course it's for your hair nails and skin i'm really excited about this one especially because i have color treated hair now and also because my hair is growing out so so much it's kind of hard to tell because this is like a three day old twist out sorry I just feel like my lips I just feel like my and I'm looking at the mirror above you I just feel like my lips are sticking together from this lip gloss but anyway um so I'm excited to have that so I can promote you know healthy hair nails skin especially skin you know I'm getting older I'm not getting younger and so I need to promote healthy skin especially because I'm like really into like skincare routine and body care like because I'm so heavily into that I need to support all of that work from the inside and then I got the extend um seven gram BCAA muscle recovery and electrolytes plus electrolytes um i'm not lifting right now right now it's all pretty much cardio because i'm just building up 
my strength if that makes sense and like just cutting a lot of fat before I start training I did this before and my results were like amazing so if I had to say the first plan that I'm on right now I'm on it until March literally to spring break until my spring break and then from there I incorporate nothing but weights like I'll do cardio here and there but it'll be back to weights and like I say I'm gonna like pop some pictures in or whatever so you can see all of the progress that my body made and i had no trainer like i did all the research myself for what i felt like my body needed and what my goals were and my body was popping it looked so 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 good how did i move away from that body to like having gained weight and and i'll say i've gained about maybe anywhere between 15 and 17 pounds i've lost weight since then but i gained like fit between 15 to 17 pounds how did i like get away from where I was it was essentially it's essentially because I've been enjoying life and if you watch my vlogs I talk a lot about how um just living like going out to eat going out to restaurants going out of the country going out of town going on these little trips eating celebrating drinking all of those sorts of things make a difference when it comes to um you get what I'm saying and I'm sorry, I'm people walking by, so I'm kind of like trying to be vigilant as I'm sitting here. Um, it just all contributes to my weight gain or how I gain weight. And it's happy weight. You know what I mean? Like living in Dallas, one thing about living in Dallas, there's a restaurant everywhere. And like Bay and I have gone to so many restaurants. We've done like the food truck festival, the mimosa walk. We've done like so many different things whenever he comes to town. But I it, I can still enjoy those things. I just have to learn how to do things in moderation because it's more important to me to have the body that I desire and the skin that I desire and the hair that I desire because those things within my control than it is for me to like just be out here just wild in these streets because these streets gonna always be here but i'm not gonna always be here and i'm not gonna always be young okay i always look this good but i won't always be this young <laughs> yes hey y'all so just got back in house um but i stopped by McAllister's to get lunch because i wanted to make sure that i was eating right even though i said i wasn't going to eat out in a new year and i'm really not if you think about it, because I got some healthy stuff. Like, let me get out of the bag and show you what I got. I got me a Caesar salad or whatever. So I got me a Caesar salad and I love it with like these club crackers, it's so good. Star of the show is this veg veggie sandwich that I get. It's called the veggie from McAllister, so good. And one thing that I like really like about going to that particular McAllister's is those people were really really nice I mean very very nice people that were you know but anyway I had a veggie sandwich on ciabatta perfect for lunch look at that it looks so freaking delicious avocado onions spinach peppers just like um a honey not a honey but like a uh, I don't know, a garlicky like mayo sauce, mayo spread that's on it, really good.
Okay, so I've taken a nice hot shower and did all of that and I wanted to make my drink before I go out um, or whatever because I was going to take it with me, you know, and sip on it. But A, this made a lot and B, I don't know how this is going to taste because I made it with water and not milk. We're going to see. Oh, I'm tasting this on camera with y'all. <sighs> Mm. And that tastes bad. It's good. Um, yeah, it's actually good. <laughs> I don't mind my face. It's good. I had to try the texture first. Only thing I wish I had have done was put some more ice, put less water, more ice, and more strawberries in it. So okay. Okay, like, it's drinkable. And it's drinkable. Nobody said being healthy. That one, that ain't no milkshake. That ain't no strawberry milkshake. That ain't nothing from Smoothie King. But it, I can drink it. It's, it's definitely edible. It's definitely drinkable. Yeah, I'm gonna sip on this all day. And we gonna see how agreeable this is. We gonna see how agreeable it is. Let me put on some clothes so I can walk out the door, y'all.